because I hardly sleep, my blood pressure is going up, and I don't want to leave this world before my time. And I know you know I'm a gift to you and the body of Christ. It's so painful that when men of God go through strike, you are quick to throw the stone, abuse them, say all sorts of insults to them. It's good. We will receive it as a cross. Because that's part of our battle in life. There's no man of God at my level who wants to pray, to go through trials in marriage or battles in marriage. Nobody will want to pray to, to, to have and a collapsed marriage or a collapsed family. Nobody. But when you get to a level where you see some circumstances that are beyond you, you have to pray. That's why I say pray for leaders. Pray for them. Pray for them. Maybe I might be the first man of God doing this in this fashion. That is how I'm led to do it. And I, I want you to throw your stone at me, abuse me, insult me. I will receive it. But I want to stay alive, if not for you, for my destiny. I am a mother, a mother in the Lord. We met and uh, we had a wonderful marriage. And before we started, we started by checking our genotype. She was AA, I was AS. It's difficult for me to say, but I had to say it this way and stop at a particular point. And then we had our first daughter, a wonderful child. And eventually we discovered she was sickle cell anemia. I received, you've seen me pray for people here with sickle cell anemia and God has been doing miracles. I saw it as a, a battle and a challenge for me as your father, which is a trial of faith for me, which is not a problem. Not a problem at all. I embraced my daughter and we had a good time in my family. And that's all. We flowed with my wife and everything was okay. And then discover in the quest of time that she was actually AS and AS. No problem. It was not a battle. But one thing led to another thing. Something happened. Which I don't want to go into those details. And what happened is what we make a man to divorce his wife scripturally, I had the backing for that. I had to cover it up to make sure that my marriage moved with your mother. And that led to so many things. So many things. You see, because I'm a man of God, I cannot divorce my wife. Because if I do, all of you will say a man of God is divorcing his wife. I chew it as a pill. But eventually it brought an unholy child into the matrimony. Which became a pill for me to chew. I'm not wanting you to judge my wife or judge anything. I just want you to just know. It led to that and brought me, we had serious battles here and there, families, interventions and everything. We covered it. We would have not gotten to this point today if my wife had listened to me when we had the battle. I also went out and have a child outside wedlock. And then it became a battle in the family. And so, this battle has become a big one that most, some men of God are taking advantage of this battle, of that battle, and sons who are under me are very bad. I feed on this battle. We've tried, I've tried for seven years to stable the vehicle, but it has not been. I want you to take the blame to be on me, but I want you to know that it started from this point to that point. As it is now, it has become a pain because when your wife begins to fight you on everywhere you go, insulting you, throwing you, I told her, I said, don't fight me, let's solve this problem in the secret. If we cannot solve it, I'll come to the world, I'll confess my sin to the world, receive the insult, and enter the marriage. And that is what I'm doing today. Because the battle is bad. It has pushed me to this point today that I'm confessing to the whole world. I want the world to know. I want you to insult me. But I said the day I open up to the world of what she... Because this battle didn't start as if Papa started the battle. She pushed me with this. And um, I covered her up. And I did not divorce her. And when mine came, she threw me to the wall. 
sending everywhere I go, my wife is calling people, telling people, sending pictures, sending this. I feel it's so bad because I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. And I'm not sleeping at all. And then children who don't know my story are insulting me unnecessarily. I felt I want to end the struggle. I wanted to be on media, insult me the way you want to insult me. I accept the blame. I'm not going to fight my wife. I'm not going to fight her. But I said, the day you push, I pleaded with her for seven years. I've knelt down. I begged her. I pleaded. But she chose to make me a laughing stock before people. And I said to her, the day I come up to the air and say this thing to the people, it marks the end of the union. Because you cannot cover me in this. this. Can, I, can I talk? If you are not in my shoe, if you are not in my shoe, you will not be able to talk the way I'm talking. Somebody shot fire. So hey guys, I just wanted to share this with you guys because um, this is an act that I feel that is really worth, um, I mean, congratulating because it is difficult to see men of God who come out in the open and confess their sins like this. So you have heard the story. Um, apparently he married someone who was AS, but she didn't say that she was AS from the start. He was AS and so they have a child who is ASS. So one thing led to another, the woman brought a child out of wedlock and she covered, he covered her and apparently he also went out and brought a child out of wedlock and she refused to cover him after he had been begging for seven years. What I want to say about this story is that every one of us are sinners. Every one of us have their own struggles that we are struggling with. Whether you are a pastor or not, every one of us have failed in one area or the other. At the end of the day, what God wants of us is that we should repent of our sins, you know. And in his case, I really applaud the fact that he has come out open because he's a man of God and people are looking up to him. He has a sheep, a sheep that he is shepherding. So guys, tell me what you think about this. What you think? Did he, what did he do? Did he do right? Actually, personally, I would have loved to also hear the woman's side of the story to be able to balance things out. But what I want to say here is that we are very fond of hearing about pastors who cheat and pastors who have problems but then they cover it up a lot so it is really a breath of fresh air to see a man of god come out in the open to confess his own sins comment below let me know what you think about this whole situation and i'll see you guys in the next video